All righty. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Annie Pocklington and I work for the Washington Student Achievement Council, which oversees the Washington State Gear Up grant at your school. Today, we are visiting Lower Columbia College for another one of our virtual campus visits. So before we get started, a few of our regular reminders. Please keep your camera off for the duration of this presentation. We also need you to change your name so that we can take attendance. So if you don't have the correct name up on your little screen, you can go ahead and change that. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and just drop your first and your last name as well as your high school name into the chat box so we can make sure to take attendance at the end. You are muted for recording purposes. So if you do have a question, you can write that in the chat and we will make sure to get to them at the end of the presentation. Um, if for some reason we don't get to your question or something comes up after this presentation, please feel free to reach out to myself or our guest so we can assist you in getting the info that you need. All right, so this virtual visit series, as you know, is set up for you to compare and contrast institutions based on your own personal needs. So all of the institution in Washington are wonderful, but they do provide different things for different students. So make sure that you're thinking today about academics, what you'd like to study, what you want your daily life to look like, um, what housing options you need, what social experiences you're looking for, um, things like that. You'll also want to consider cost, of course, which means in financial aid opportunities, scholarship opportunities, and then just consider anything else that's important to you in becoming your best self while attending college. So this personal reflection is of utmost importance when you're figuring out what you want to do after high school. So make sure that you're taking notes today. You can find a guided reflection activity on our website. We also encourage you to check out this interactive map by WACAN that allows you to see all of the two-year, four-year, and technical institutions across the state. So before I pass it off to our guest, I am going to give you a big picture overview of Lower Columbia College. Lower Columbia is located in Longview, Washington. So it's a little over two hours from Seattle and about six hours from Spokane. It's down in the bottom left corner of the state there. Lower Columbia is a public community college. And it's what we would consider small generally, but mid-sized to small in the community college arena with about just under 3000 students. So now that you know the basics, I'm going to pass it off to Nicole, who is here as our LCC expert. All right, Nicole, take it away. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Nicole Faber. Um, I'm LCC's outreach manager. I'll be doing a virtual tour today um, before I start with sharing my screen, I just want to give you a heads up that I'll be turning off my video and um, I'll be working on sharing my screen now. So give me just a second to do that. Annie, can you see my screen still? You know what, we can't see your screen. Okay, I don't think it's ready just yet, so it'll be just another second. Thank you for your patience. Yeah, no worries. Okay. How about now? Can we see that? Yes, looks great. Awesome. Let me get these things out of the way. Um, no, I'm not interested in that.
Okay, so I am trying to present my Google Slides and it doesn't seem like it's cooperating with me. Um, and I don't wanna take up any more of your time waiting on me. So we'll just go ahead and get started. Um, Annie, do you think that the screen is showing okay? Yeah, it's showing fine. Perfect. Okay. Well, hello and welcome. Um, I'll be starting our virtual tour in just a second, but I wanted to share this screen with everybody. So if you are really interested in attending Lower Columbia College, you think you might have some questions, um, take a screenshot of this or um, write down our email address. If you sent a message to this outreach coordination at lowercolumbia.edu, it would go to our entire outreach team. So someone would be able to answer your question very quickly. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the virtual tour. I hope you can see this okay. Um, like Annie mentioned, she gave a really great introduction to Lower Columbia College and discussing where we are at regionally. Um, today we'll be taking a tour of campus without taking a step as we explore everything LCC has to offer through our campus imagery. LCC offers more than 90 degree and certificate programs. So LCC truly has something for everyone. I always like to share that information because if there's a specific career field you want to get into, we probably have a corresponding degree or certificate program. So as we virtually walk through campus today, keep that in mind and imagine yourself as a student here. Throughout our conversation today, you'll get to see some of the details of what makes the campus special, including the amazing resources we're able to offer um, to help students pursuing all of those degree and certificate programs. I'll start by sharing some uh, fun facts about LCC. Our campus is located in the heart of Longview, Washington, which is about 45 minutes or so from the Oregon border. Um, while the town of Longview itself is kind of small, you might be surprised to know that right in the middle of it is our 38 plus acre campus. So this campus, and it's hard to show in pictures and um, even when you're walking around campus, it doesn't feel that big, but it actually spans quite a bit of space. The campus is a student oasis that features so many resources for student success in and outside the classroom. If we we're on campus today, this is where I would start our tour. The first image on the left captures what the campus courtyard looks like as it is a central feature of campus. From here, you can see almost every building. This is where many events and activities take place and it's a natural place to just hang out. The image on the left shows the Anderson Family Pavilion. Just like the courtyard, this is a place where you'll often see students hanging out, studying and even performing. One of my favorite things to see on campus is the student fencing club practicing under the pavilion. I wish I had a picture of that to share with you today. It is pretty cool that LCC has a fencing club. And that's a really great example of how as a student here, if there's a club that you're interested in, you can join it. And if there isn't a club, and you want to start one, you can do that too. Uh, something else that's common in this space is students coming together and performing and practicing choir and music assignments. Needless to say, this is an area of campus where there's always something fun happening. I just got lucky in taking these pictures that um, it was kind of at a weird time of day where there wasn't anything going on. So you don't see a lot of students pictured in these photos. Um, but if you're imagining that we're all together and we're walking together, our next stop will be just a few feet south and we are headed to the Rose Center for the Performing Arts. Here we have the beautiful Rose Center for the Arts. The Rose Center got its name for the beautiful and robust Rose Garden that is on the South Lawn. This building really is the premier destination for all things art and performance related. If you plan to pursue a degree in the arts, whether that be theater or choir or music or painting, you'll spend some time in this space. In fact, many times when I'm giving tours, people on the tour tell me about the times they've already been to this space on campus as an audience member and sometimes even as a performer, as we allow our community to use this space as well. So for um, concerts and other performances. In the Rose Center, we have the performance auditorium, concert spaces, soundproof music classrooms, the art gallery and museum exhibit, and a lobby featuring a concert piano that students can play at any time. We're continuing our virtual walkthrough of the Rose Center and above the entrance to the auditorium, you can see one of the many beautiful displays of art on campus. This is also the area of the Rose Center where the art gallery is. LCC's art gallery features displays of art from internal and external artists, just like a small museum or small art gallery would. 
Now you might be wondering about how the arts programs are continuing during the times of COVID-19. They are persisting and many classes are uh, being conducted virtually through Zoom, just like this tour. I've been able to see some practice performances and it's really cool how the LCC instructors have thought of such creative ways to maintain student engagement, just like they would be if we were on campus and in a classroom. So they've been recording really neat Zoom sessions, sending it out um, for the campus to enjoy by email and even posting on the Lower Columbia College YouTube channel. So if that's something that's interesting to you, I encourage you to check that out. As we exit the Rose Center for the Arts and continue to move around the campus, the next building we'll stop in is the main building. The name of the building hardly gives a good indicator as to what's inside, but it is a historical building on our campus. LCC is 86 years old and the main building was once, you guessed it, the main building. Before the campus was as big as it is now, the then small but mighty main building was where it all happened. As the campus continues to grow, the main building now serves mostly to house some amazing art classrooms and resources like the Math Achievement Center. The Math Achievement Center is something I always like to pause and spotlight during tours. This is a space on campus where students can go to get the help and support that they need to be successful in math specifically. And it's something I encourage every student to check out. Tutoring is free at LCC to every student. So you never know when visiting the Math Achievement Center could come in handy someday. That was the Math Achievement Center. There on the left and on the right is um, the hallway through the building where you can see some of the student artwork on display, which is really amazing because um, it's just a great virtual, it's a great way to see the talent of LCC students. So if we were on campus together, I would definitely just wanna quietly walk through these halls to give you a glimpse into what students are capable of. Our next stop might very well be my favorite building on campus. The Health and Science Building is the newest building. And if you're planning to pursue a degree or certificate in the sciences or plan to take a biology class or two, you'll definitely spend time here. The next few slides are dedicated just to this building, but we could spend the time of a full tour exploring this space. The HSB, as it is commonly referred to, is one of the biggest buildings on campus. Something we like to do when we're able to conduct in-person tours is give a sneak peek into Dr. Louis Lapierre's biology classroom where he shows off all of his cool biology equipment. Uh, this is where his classroom is in this building. And LCC, one of the biggest areas of studies for our student is our nursing program. So this space especially has state-of-the-art nursing equipment. So for anybody who's um, on this tour with us today, if you're interested in nursing, anatomy and physiology, biology, chemistry, earth science, all of those amazing things, you would spend a lot of time in here and you would have access to all of those super cool resources. So here's a glimpse into what you'll see as a student in our HSB, the Health and Sciences Building. The Lofman Lecture Hall is one of the largest lecture spaces we have on campus. And as you can see in this picture on the right, LCC staff have carefully marked seating for social distancing. From this slide, you can also see some science themed sculpture art and the entryway into the nursing and allied health faculty and dean offices. You'll see a lot of artwork throughout the campus. It's just one of those little things that makes these spaces extra special. As we move on through the health and science building, I now bring you to a really cool feature and what many students refer to as a hidden gem. This is a quiet study space on the second floor, which is accessible to all students and is well stocked with everything you need to study, work on projects and prepare for classroom assignments, especially as it applies to those science programs we discussed earlier. Oftentimes you'll see students gather here in groups, working on group projects or conducting tutoring. When taking anatomy and physiology classes, um, these are resources that are really helpful when preparing for those exams and demonstrating your mastery of the coursework. When this building was constructed, it was a high priority to offer resources space just like this. Uh, I think this image could help you imagine coming into this space and studying or working on a group project. And um, I hope you can see the detail in the photos, but there's um, multiple resources available to study the heart, anatomy and physiology of the human body. Um, it's just one of those really cool things that LCC prioritizes for its student, offering these things up to our students.
then our last look at the Health and Science Building features the outdoor lounge just off of the third floor. This space is available again for all students to enjoy and is a wonderful place to study, enjoy an outdoor lunch, or take a minute or two to enjoy the view of campus. So again, if we were all together and I was walking you through campus, this would be a good spot for us to pause and reflect and kind of just observe the, the beauty of the community around us. And this is one of those spots on campus where if we were standing together, you could really get to see, wow, this campus is 38 acres big um, and kind of take it all in. Um, I like to come here for meetings, especially in the summertime when it's nice to get out of the office. All right, the next uh, building, which would be the very next building next to the Health and Sciences building is our Library and Learning Commons. This building is home to so many resources to, for students and I could spend the majority of our time together talking about, but since we only have a few minutes, I wanna share some of the most popular elements of this space, including the computer and printing lab. So you have free access to those computers and the printers, a recording booth, Chromebook borrowing and renting, the tutoring center and more. Um, this building is actually under construction as we speak, but the learning commons is on the main floor and on the second floor is LCC's actual library. Last time I was in the library, one of the librarians had our tour group guess how many books we had. And no one even came close as LCC's library houses more than 80,000 books. This is one of the spots on campus where every student will visit at some point. In fact, this is where we host financial aid support events and help students complete financial aid applications, including applying for LCC scholarships. Every year, LCC gives out $450,000 in scholarships just for LCC students. And like Annie mentioned early on, we have a little less than 3,000 students. So if you're applying for scholarships, there's a good probability you will earn some money. The application uh, doesn't take very long and with staff dedicated to help, we encourage all students to apply. All right, continuing on. We would walk past our community garden space and come into the Stoller Athletic Center and Micklebus Gymnasium. Students have access to the fitness facility that features a smoothie and juice bar, the only indoor rock wall in this region, and state-of-the-art fitness equipment, the same kind used by Seahawks and Blazers players. In this space, you can work out or come to watch some of LCC's student athletes in action. So again, another example of um, ways that LCC prioritizes the entire student experience. So more than just your success as a student, but um, the other elements that contribute to that, including your health and well-being. Just outside of the gymnasium, we'd be walking past the outdoor volleyball court and into the portion of campus that is dedicated to the trades, career and technical education. LCC is well known for the trades programs that include welding, manufacturing, engineering, heavy equipment operations, automotive technology, and more. Featured on this slide is an action shot of a student participating in LCC's annual welding competition. In the top right corner, we have a student working toward his multi-craft multi trade certificate. And in the bottom corner are two of LCC's welding instructors, a welding student, and Tamara Gilchrist, the Dean of Instructional Programs. Um, that photo was actually taken because um, two of the people featured in that video, the two people in the middle, were um, featured in a local art display. So they created some art by welding and it's now on display in the Longview community, so off campus. And that's just a cool example of how well connected LCC is to the surrounding community and how, especially in our trades programs, well, in all of our programs, including nursing, the community looks to LCC to recruit and hire from. So that's pretty awesome. Here we continue through campus and stop outside of the vocational building where many welding labs are located. Welding is one of the courses we offer in a hybrid format right now. That means some of the coursework is completed on campus with just a few students at a time. And some of the coursework is completed through virtual learning. When a student comes to campus for their hybrid classes, this is what they see. And one of the ways LCC is committed to maintaining the health and safety of everyone who comes to campus. I've also included an image of another campus hidden gem located just a few feet away from the vocational building. If we were on campus together for this tour, I would probably have a stop right here, you know, weather permitting, and hang out for a few minutes to answer any questions or talk through some of the things you've seen today. And so we would be stopping in that um, 
outdoor amphitheater and just kind of enjoying the space. It's a very quiet space. And again, it's another spot on campus where you'll see students hanging out and studying. Okay, we only have two more stops left on the tour and I saved some of the best for last, including the LCC Student Center as seen on this slide. I often describe this building as the place students go for all things related to the student social experience like clubs, organizations, the associated student body of LCC, which is most commonly referred to as student government and the cafeteria. This is where many student groups come together. And on this slide, you can see images that capture a few of those spaces, including LCC's Veteran Resource Center and LCC's Diversity and Equity Center. So again, this is gonna be another spot on campus where as a student, you will absolutely spend time in here, whether for a social gathering, um, there's a lot of social activities that would be taking place here, like a guest lecture series, uh, music performances, things like that. Something that you is not shown in this um, imagery or on these slides. So we actually have a gaming space where students can come in and set up video games and chill and hang out. And that's also corresponds to one of the clubs that we have to offer. So um, when we talk about Lower Columbia College and the campus experience, it really is very similar to what you would be experiencing at um, a university. All right, as you can see, we're almost done. And as soon as we're done, I see we've had some questions. So I'm looking forward to getting to those. And lastly, the admission center. This is where my office is located. And this space is best described as the one stop for students. If you have questions about registering for classes, you have an advising appointment, need help with your financial aid application and much more, this is where you would go. Right now we've created a virtual welcome center where you can still access all of those resources and dedicated staff um, but doing so from a click of a button in a Zoom room. So throughout the tour, I talked about how the Learning Commons is where you go for all things tech oriented, tech and research, uh, tutoring. Uh, the Student Center is where you go for student clubs and organizations and all those social elements. So the Admission Center is the one-stop center for all of those other things um, in preparing you for your plan, either when you're applying to LCC or as a student who's preparing for graduation and every step in between. Um, before we finish for the day, I wanted to include a brief glimpse into a virtual classroom. That might be a question that um, you're considering as you're touring various campuses. What is the classroom environment like, especially during this time of COVID-19? So I featured a screenshot of LCC instructor Maborni Reister in action as she leads a lesson from her virtual classroom. This was something that she did over the summer with us during our summer bridge program series, which if you're interested, we will be offering again next summer. So um, feel free to share a message with the outreach team to let us know if you're interested. It's free. And this summer was conducted virtually. Um, and in this, in this glimpse with Mavorning, you see how she's kind of recreated her classroom and conducting it by Zoom. Um, she has her office space set up just like you would see in her usual classroom and she uses a whiteboard and she's taking notes. She asks students questions. We can use the chat feature. We use the hands up feature. She has really done an excellent job of mastering how to make that virtual environment feel, feel more like the classroom experience. Um, LCC is adapting to the needs of our students while adhering to COVID-19 protocols. Um, and this has given instructors a platform to get really creative with their virtual classrooms. So um, I'm pretty excited to see what more we're able to develop from this. And this is my last slide. Um, feel, that's me uh, in the top left corner there wearing one of my masks as I'm on campus. Contact the LCC outreach and recruitment team with your questions, or if you'd like to request more information, or if you're kind of early on in your college exploration pathway, um, if you think of more questions you have, whether it be today, tomorrow, or sometime in the future, you can contact us anytime, and hopefully in the near future, we'll be, offer, we'll be able to offer um, enhanced tours, whether it's an enhanced virtual experience, or perhaps we can even invite you on campus in small groups. But um, Feel free, I'll leave this screen up just for another minute longer if you wanted to take a screenshot or jot down those, um, those email addresses. Something that we didn't really get to talk very much about in this tour, but you might have direct experience with is LCC offers career and technical education dual credits. Um, so if that's something that sounds familiar to you, feel free to reach out to us at that email address below. That is really a program that we have 
in place so that you are in high school taking your high school classes and you are for some of those classes are earning dual credits to LCC. So if you're taking um, any kind of automotive technology courses, or maybe it's a welding class um, or marketing class uh, at a high school in the Southwest Washington region, it's likely that you're earning some kind of dual credit to LCC. So feel free to reach, us, reach out to us about that. So I will go ahead and stop sharing my screen and get back to the chat. Okay, so I'm seeing a lot of really great questions here. Annie, is it okay if I read them out loud and start to answer them that way? Is that the best way to go about it? So one of the questions we have is, do we have a relationship with WCO? Yes, so WCO Vancouver is about 36 miles from our campus. We actually have a university center located in the learning commons. And once a week, we have a representative from Washington State University um, come to campus to talk with our students who are preparing to transfer. And we have a direct transfer associate a degree agreement with Washington State University. Um, we do have an earth science and geology program. I'm not sure if we have an XRF machine. That's an excellent question. I could research and get back to you. Um, and Tutors are paid positions at LCC. So if you are a master in a particular field, for example, it looks like somebody's really interested in math, um, you could be a paid tutor. Um, if you're an LCC student who's seeking out tutoring, you don't have to pay for it, but tutoring is a paid position that we offer on campus. And usually tutors are recommended by faculty. So that is a great question. What type of music or marching band do we have? We don't have a marching band, unfortunately, um, but we have a pretty robust music program. Um, I could share a brochure with you on all of the details. Um, we have concert band, uh, concert piano, and we have a strings program. I, I hope that answers your question. Well, it is about 1230 and I think, what's the financial aid? Oh, thank you for asking about financial aid. So attending LCC, um, it costs about $100 per credit that you take. Uh, on average, it's 10 credits to be considered a full-time student. So 10 credits per quarter. Um, students typically take anywhere between 10 to 15 credits a quarter. So that's about $1,500 a quarter. If you did a full year like that, it would be about $4,500. Um, and like I mentioned, we give out a ton of scholarship money. We also have a lot of staff who are trained to help you complete financial aid applications because many students would qualify for the brand new Washington College Grant where I'm not sure if you've heard very much about the Washington College Grant, but it is a new resource available to students throughout Washington State. Um, and it's kind of based on your family's household income. So if your household income is anywhere you know, $97,000 or, or less, you will qualify for some grant funding and grants are free money. Uh, they're different than a scholarship because sometimes scholarships require certain GPA to qualify for them. Grants, if you just meet the income thresholds or the household income thresholds, you get that free money. It's not a loan, you don't have to pay it back. So we encourage every student who complete your financial aid applications because that could really help you better understand what college would be like for you. If you're kind of on the fence and you're not sure that you wanna to go to college, do your financial aid applications and you can see how much you qualify for. You might not have to pay for it at all. Um, and we want every student to, in this region, you, um, you can put up to 10 schools on your FAFSA application. And we encourage everybody to just put LCC on there just in case as a backup plan, maybe we're the backup plan to your backup plan. Maybe, um, you know, something we saw from the class of 2020 is that they didn't think um, no one anticipated the pandemic, and now a lot of people are choosing to stay safe, stay home, but still go far, and therefore they're choosing LCC. So always include LCC or a local community or technical college on your financial aid application. 
I'll hang out for just another minute or two to see if we get any other questions, but I really appreciate um, everyone's time today. And I hope you got to see those email addresses I had throughout our presentation. Um, if you think of anything else, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. You can also check us out at lowercolumbia.edu and you'll be able to find my contact information on there as well. Again, my name is Nicole Faber and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Oh, does LCC credits transfer over to bigger four-year universities like the University of Washington? Yes. So there is an associate's degree pathway called a direct transfer associate, DTA. Um, and those are associate degrees that we have, um, we have commitments with to a variety of schools where you will accept all of the transfer credits. So you'd go into it as a junior. Um, UW is one of the ones that we have an agreement with. Um, we also have uh, so many advisors who are skilled in answering these questions and who'd like to really personalize the engagement opportunities with each of their students. So as you meet with an LCC advisor, even if you're making a decision about attending LCC, you can ask them questions about, this is what I wanna study, this is where I'd ultimately like to transfer to someday. And they could really help design a pathway for you. Great questions, thank you all so much. I'm glad this was helpful, thank you. All right, I'm signing off. Everybody have a great day.